guys, Chastity here. I am recording today's voiceover in my car while I'm driving because I don't have any time to sit down and record a voiceover and I really don't have a place to re record a voiceover. Um, so, you know, this is, this is it. I'm going to try and see if I can uh, make it not sound like I'm in my car other than you hear that me telling you that I'm in my car. Um, but, you know, probably not. So, today's, today's video is 20 minutes long. 20, over 20 minutes, actually. I would say it's like 23. Being that I'm in my car, I can't tell you for sure. Um, so I don't, I don't really expect any of you to sit through the entire 20 minutes without they're skipping or just, you know, kind of going right to the end or, you know, saying screw it and not watching it all. That's okay because I didn't want to cut anything out. I didn't really, I, I'm not, I'm still learning my software. So unfortunately I can't make it too fancy right now. Like I, I use free software and this is this is what you get. So, if you are sticking around and you are watching, you are the best human being on the planet. And if it was possible to love a complete stranger, I love you. Um, okay, so I decided to paint a vampire because I love vampires. I love everything about them. They're really cool. And I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something that I've not done before. I, I tend to sketch really funky stuff but what I end up painting or drawing isn't necessarily funky at all and I wanted to start trying to kind of do more interesting pieces that appeal more to you know the kind of stuff that I I'm seeing in my head that I want to put down and this is one of those things the sketch was fantastic the painting is okay <laughs> it's one of my better ones I will admit it is not one of my best not. Um, I did use a reference for the vampire and um, I really enjoyed the pose. It helped inspire the idea of what I had like with the blood on the on the ground and it running over and everything. So um, it was a lot of fun to do. I used gouache paints for the first time ever and those were those were like really nice really nice I really like those um, I'm not really great at watercolor and when I had heard about gouache I thought that maybe it was something that I could do just because it's being that it's more opaque it, it leads to um, being able to use less water to get a, a darker color um, and I think that that makes more sense to me um, and it really, it was a lot of fun. Um, it took me about four hours in total over two days to draw, paint, and, you know, complete. Um, and it's one of the longest paintings that I've ever done in terms of, like, how long it took me to make it. Um, usually I can probably sit down for about 45 minutes and complete something. Um, and that's just because I'm used to not having a lot of time. Um, obviously, since I'm recording a voiceover in my car while driving, I don't have a lot of time. Um, <laughs> uh, so I was really happy that I actually, like, I did something that was going to take me longer than usual. Uh, I needed, I, I used masking fluid um, because there was parts that I did not want to have to try and work around um, the ropes on the swing, um, the bright spots in the blood, which I don't think I really positioned those very well, and her teeth and her eyes. I wanted to make sure the whites in her eyes stayed white if I was going to keep them white. I don't think being it's the size of her face and the, I'm not really well versed in details on paints like, you know, water, watercolor based paints, like gouache or, water, or, or watercolor. Um, so I don't think it came out the way that I had envisioned it. It certainly does not look 
like the same face from my sketch, um, which I didn't expect it to, honestly. Um, and so I had to wait for that, and then painting, just figuring out the colors that I wanted to use. Um, I chose black for the back, bla back, bla uh, black for the background. Yes, I know how to speak English, I promise. Um, because it needed to be dark. This was like a dark theme, and it. it made more sense to me to have it dark. I think I could have gone a little bit differently with like not having it quite as black and having it more like a darker gray color. Um, but uh, only because I, I wanted her hair to be black and then after I had painted the background, I was like, oh crap, I can't have a completely black background and have her have black hair. So I had to actually um, put some water down and try and pull up some of the color, which kind of gave like a halo aura thing around her, especially her head, um, so that I could do the black hair and still have it kind of stand out. Uh, in the end, I didn't do too much line work on this. I didn't really want to do any line work on it, but I thought it would be easier for me if I um, kind of made some things stand out a little bit more. So I did line around like the ropes of the swing um, and the board that she sits on and around the, the, you know, the black box that is the background of like the main area of her. Um, and I did the the line at the bottom um, to be like where the the other like the like the second floor I guess is and I, I kind of wish I did more of like a light shading there instead of that dark solid color um, so you know there's that otherwise. Um, I'm really happy with how she came out, and I am probably going to make sure that in the future, probably in, in maybe a year or so, um, using her for a draw it again kind of thing to see where I'm at skill-wise, I think that would be a very good judge of, of my improvement. Um, yeah, so... Thank you for watching. I appreciate anybody who stuck around this long. Um, I've only been talking for eight minutes. So, you know, if you stop like watching at the end of my dialogue and that's cool, just, you know, give it a thumbs up right now because why not? And if you want to watch more videos that are mine, obviously mine, you can hit that subscribe button because then you can watch more videos and I can feel validated for the fact that you are watching my videos and are subscribed to me. And everybody that I have been watching says to hit the bell so that you can get emails that tell you that I've uploaded. So you can hit the bell, that's cool, or not, you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm very flexible, easy going. I told my friend Miranda who does subscribe to my channel, thank you Miranda, that I was going to record this and I wasn't going to record it over. I am sorry to say that this is the fifth take, but I am not going to re record over this one. I don't think, I'm pretty happy with how she came out, with, with, how, with how it came out. Yeah, it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you again for watching. Um, and as always, I'm on to the next one. <laughs>